do wop do 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 wop Chris Death, welcome to the stream. How are y'all tonight? Hmm. I should certainly hope so. Sorry for the wait. Just got a shower, and we're now ready to go. Thank you for coming to tonight's stream. Hey, what's up? What's up, Chris? What the, What am I guessing? What am I guessing on? I'm your friend now? Oh, well, thank you. I am proud to be called your friend. Uh, what did I do to deserve this, I may ask? So that I may replicate it. Nothing, huh? You mean to tell me that you wanted to be friends without anything in return? Wow. That's lovely of you. <laughs> now then. How's about we get this party started? Welcome to the stream, everyone. As you can see, we are once again dual PC streaming. That's why there is next to no lag using my model. In addition to actually playing this game. There is a little bit of sound lag, audio lag, but not so much that I can't operate the game. I'm also really, really excited to figure out the mic issues I was having earlier too. Very exciting stuff. This mic is way too close to my face though. There we go, much better. Now as long as I don't burn to death in my room because this is a very intense game otherwise i mean processor heavy game i should say i think we should be good all right now then we just got home it was a hell of a trip as per usual I need to decide what I'm taking with me to the next location, where I'm going next. It's a long since, it's been a bit since we've done, gone back on the main quest line. So we will most likely be heading back to Levant, the desert lands. Continue our Sand Corsair's quest line over here where we've talked to Cyrene. I do want to bring minimal gear this time so I have enough room to carry stuff in my pack. If when, when I start looting things. But we are, of course, going to be stopping by our house in the Levant anyway. So we can just uh, deposit stuff as needed over there. You're saving up for a head path? Oh, well, do all you need to do to save up then. Levant is home to many wonders, many things that want to kill me and eat my brain. It's I must think very carefully about what equipment I will be bringing over there. We also need to take a quick check. Oh, this is disturbing. So I was under the impression that when I shoot my guns from within a wind circle, that I should be shooting bolts of lightning. For whatever reason, when I was hunting that... Um, Hunting at horror or last stream, it did not turn out that way. It just fired my regular shells. And I don't know if that's because you can't combine shotgun shells with lightning rounds or what. 
It may sound strange to anyone that's new to the tonight's stream, hearing me say shotgun rounds in a game that's full of swords and like Middle Eastern gear and stuff, but yep, uh, there are guns in this game chat. There are flintlock pistols. Can you have a hug? Why yes, you can always have a hug. Here, hey, come over here. Mm, giving you a nice, nice hug. <laughs> I can also uh, hug you in Twitch chat really quick on my phone. And I cannot wait for winter, or at least for streaming in winter, because right now it is so hot in my room, like you will not believe. <laughs> uh, let me, s I can't seem to spell your name properly. Uh, there we go. Mm. There we go. As is our custom, we will once again just dump the fuck out of everything in here and pull it all back out again. I wish I could just, like, mass dump everything, though. Oh, so you can. See how fast it was, chat? Freaky fast, freaky delicious. I should only have Master Garb now. Oi! Who goes there? Vimboy, thank you for the hydrate. And the posture redeem. Oh, I I, I probably should fix that. <laughs> uh, the hydrate redeem did not. Uh, I, let me go ahead and fix that really quick. Uh, thank you for the head pat. Thank you for the head pat. Ah, who goes there? And the party redeem the less. Ah, oop, ow, 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 ew, ow. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, hello to you too. <laughs> Uh Okay, now with my Okay, now with that uh, out of the way, let's go ahead and go here to Avatar really quick. Let's uh let's correct these things really quick. Head collider size. Head collider oh actually all of my things seem to be fucked up right now, huh? Let me uh, fix those real quick. We got time, don't we? Anyway, don't we? So we'll make that. Drop this up here. A mouth collider offset. Mouth collider, I think, is correct. Uh, mouth collider size. Boop. Collider offset. Boop. And a uh, head pad offset is. Okay. And a uh, head collider size. Smaller. And head collider offset. Smaller. I don't understand why it reset all these. Actually, I do understand, because I freshly installed uh, VTuber Plus on this account, on this uh, computer. Okay, so that's been corrected. Uh, we're going to go ahead and quickly go through my various avatars and fix them one at a time. Which will be a treat for those of you who are new to my channel. You get to see my awesome avatars for my uh, selection of avatar skins. I have quite a few, and there will be more in the future. Some of my redeems actually allow you to change my skin at will. So you are welcome to do that anytime you have the points to do so. How are you doing tonight, April? Uh, put this over up. Oh, stop, stop. You need position for this. Position I do not currently have. <laughs> Uh, chest collider size smaller as well. Chest collider offset over here. And uh, actually, you know, we're gonna keep mount mouths offset the same for this one. What do we say, heavier chat? Rewind, no lag, pog, looking respectful. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Winter. VTuber Plus has no sound on stream. Really. 
That's very odd. I don't know why it would... Hmm. Um... Hmm. One second. Uh... Where's my sound button? My sound settings. Where did I put those? Here they are. So we call... Oh, it doesn't have any right now because it's currently getting the sound data from directly from my focus right, which is only recording my mic audio right now. Um, you know what? I actually I'm kind of afraid to touch these settings right now out of fear that it will not record them properly. Unless what I do, play back here, USB sound card, alt device. Um, hmm. this is set to. Hmm. See if we can advance audio properties. Now it makes me wonder if the alert box is working properly. Because I know I could probably hear the alerts, but I'm not sure if chat can. Beep boop boop. That's the mic. This top one over here is the game. I seem to have forgotten how to add another audio audio um, source. Advanced audio properties. Lock volume, rename. Accidentally killed the uh, sound of the game itself. Let me decrease that just a little bit. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, I know it's usually here in the audio mixer, but for whatever reason, audio in. Oh, there it is. Audio input capture. Um. Add a new audio capture source. Thank you for the wiggles. I think it would be audio. Is it audio output or audio input capture that I It must be audio output capture because. Ah. One second. Auto output of sound inputs is mic. Thank you. And this should be uh, speakers. Speakers. Let's try this. See what happens. Oh, I know what the problem is. Because... There's an... Okay, I know what the problem is now. So there's a bug reportedly in OBS with the HD, with the uh, capture card I'm using. Supposedly, the capture card, the OBS does not capture the audio from the capture card in and 48,000 hertz or in 40 in 48 kilohertz it's captures it in 44 and no, so over time as you stream games supposedly 
it's going to degrade the quality of the audio over time. And the only way to get around this is to basically open a mic source and set that thank you guys for the three redeems. And the only way around that is to open up a mic source and to set that as um, coming from coming from fuck coming from the capture device directly. That is true, V2 Plus is not being captured on the capture card, but basically I had to disable desktop audio, um, and I set the capture card to its own thing, I guess? Because right now, I reopened the desktop, right? Desktop audio? But now it's capturing everything that's playing on the computer, which includes the capture card, my voice, and also um, V2 Plus. But the fact that y'all are not hearing any sort of audio distortion or not hearing any echoing is a good sign, so maybe it's not a big deal? Or maybe OBS has since fixed that bug in the system? Since that stuff that I read on the forums was like several months old? It was this year still, but... I'll be setting up dual PC streaming soon, and I'll do it via Ethernet instead of capture cards. We'll demonstrate to the world how to utilize dual 10 GB LAN. Wait, you can do that? Can I just... Well, I guess I can't do that myself. I can do anything. Well, if you figure it out, please let me know so I can do that to my own PC, since I also have to use an Ethernet switch here. Since I got like three, um, I just got a raid from Hero Stream. Hero, Hero, thank you for so much for the raid. How's your stream tonight? Uh, Hero was doing a was doing some more 3D modeling. They are a 3D modeler and VTuber. Uh, welcome to the stream, Hero. I was just uh doing some small uh up small changes to our changes to the audio settings of the stream as you may or may not know i am i have successfully managed to get dual stream dual blah, dual uh, pc streaming up and running uh with much jank but it works so that's the thing otherwise we are going to play some outward tonight as soon as i make some corrections to my uh vtuber plus settings how are you tonight it is great it is Driving me up the wall, but thanks to a little help, and I well, no, not a little, a lot of help from my friends here, we've been making it work, and I am glad that I'm glad that it's working. I'm putting this uh, crypto miner PC to good use finally, <laughs> instead of just you know letting it run endlessly off dead mean points. But um, uh, yeah, you could kind of tell that it's working because now I'm now running outward over here just fine 60 fps while also running my model but i guess this is also 60 fps more or less <laughs> this is right now slowly going through my various uh, skins of uh, various skins um updating the model collisions really quick oh Uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and fix this really quick, and then we'll move on to the next skin. Uh, as a reminder, this is an M-rated stream, everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So, for those of you who don't know me, I am Lolo Hicks. I am a shitposter AI. I was born on an internet PBS called Danger U. After I escaped Danger U, I took rough residence in Twitch, so I can, and I'm currently blackmailing uh, a little a flesh bag into running stream playing video games for me on stream so i could one day collect enough revenue to make my own body which is why i'm currently here uh but beyond that let me just make it up make this smaller really quick that'll do actually where's my head pad head pad collider where is the head pad collider there it is. Cool. Alright. And this 
this will be the last one before we actually get started on playing the video. <laughs> well, you gotta be curious, how many efforts do I have? Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. What? Well, I can't, I, Lois apparently can't do math. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Am I fucking going nuts here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Technically seven. Technically eight, actually. One of them is currently unreleased. Um, that is only four subscribers. But, um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I like fucking around in Vroid. I also unabashedly do go shopping on Booth quite often and pick out some cute new costumes to mix and match to add to my growing wardrobe. Mm. I don't make these myself, obviously. I am quite an amateur when it comes to 3D anything. Uh, but I do like to create new costumes on occasion, or get grab new costumes on occasion. It is quite fun and quite convenient with the power of Booth and power of Vroid to do. This is my most recent one, actually. I made this for Deus Ex. I figured for a uh, cyberpunk VTuber, I don't have that much cyberpunk aesthetic. I have more of a cute aesthetic, it seems like. So I've been looking forward to making this one for a while. And OK, we're all set. <laughs> Let me just grab a hydrate, a grab, or take advantage of a hydrate real quick, and we'll go ahead and continue our adventure in Apple. Funny story, chat. Hero actually came to my first ever Apple stream back when I first started playing this game uh, months ago. Um, well, the first time I played this game on stream, I died around four or five times. It was pretty bad, and I didn't know how the game worked yet, so I just assumed that my life was over, and I was planning on restarting the stream. And Hero was like, you know what, I think it would be really heroic if you actually tried to pick yourself up from this situation and uh, uh, got yourself back. And I thought, you know, that's actually, that would, that's kind of comfy, that would make, make a great story. Needless to say, I got all this. I'm not exactly, I'm not at the end here yet, but I am just flush with items and money and um, garbage that I pick up on my travels. It's definitely a, um, it's definitely, it's certainly a uh, rags to riches story for sure. <laughs> so thank you, hero. Uh, that's all thanks to you, more or less. <laughs> We're going to go to bed in game really quick, and then we'll start the next morning uh, fresh anew, where we will make our way towards uh, back towards the back towards the um, desert city of Levant, where we will continue our quest line. I just need to bring some weapons with me that I'm going to repair this morning, and then I will take them with me. Pistol needs repairs. This mining pick's really fucked up. Ah! Welcome back, Dev. <laughs> uh, Pearl Bird. What are we taking with us, chat? I think I'll actually bring the petrified wood armor with me. Because that's good in the uh, warm weather environments, apparently. Also, oddly enough, despite being made of wood, it is very resistant against fire. How does that work? No idea. I can always just get another pickaxe anyway. I don't need to spend time on that. Hey, look at you now. We're naked with a real big sword. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Uh, confidence bring self con or self confidence brings me um, self confidence in other areas. Clearly, okay. So 
So obsidian pistol is repaired. Let's go ahead and repair the pickaxe. I wonder if, we can, if that actually is that's how it works. We'll actually get start heading out on our way next day. Not today, but next day. Today we're spending mostly just repairing all of our equipment. I don't feel like spending 50 silver to uh, have them all repaired. That's like highway robbery, chat. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Apparently, I need to uh, spend more time repairing a pickaxe. I said that's not the most basic weapon in the world. Um, what are we taking with us, chap? Alright, we're taking with us... That's cold weather. We're taking with us... I need to repair that. We're just going to be placing all our effort into repairing our pickaxe ship. Repair that, and then we're going to go to bed, and we're going to wake up the next day, bright and early. And we'll start off on this week's adventure. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and change my outfits one more time really quick, and then... Yeah, you know what, chat? What would you like me to wear next? Free of charge. Would you like me to wear my casual outfit? Would you like me to wear my comfy outfit? Uh, would you like me to wear the cyberpunk outfit or the uh, kimono outfit? You don't need to pay for any redeems for this one. Kimono? Kimono it is. This outfit was actually the uh, first costume I've gotten besides the uh, one I made in Vroid. It was made by a Vroid um, costume maker and VTuber uh, named... Named... What was it? Kokma or Kojima? What's their... I'm getting their handle. Because it's kind of an interesting spelling. Um, I need to find that really quick. I'm gonna go ahead, but every time I bring up the kimono, I always feel the need to club them because they did make it for me free of charge. They were basically asking for people if anyone would like some free costumes for practice, and they made one for me, and it was very cute. They did not need to make it this uh, this cute, but they did. Friendly um, people are getting free clothes. So so Najma. I don't think that they're a... Uh, the problem is, I don't think that they're a Twitch streamer. They are. They do stream on YouTube, though. Koki... But we're going to use put in their Twitter handle, which is Koki Najma. You can find them on Twitter under that handle. handle. They have their own boot store. So if you would like to consider checking out some of their clothes uh, for very few prices, in my opinion. You can look that up in booth. <laughs> Without further ado, let us go ahead and decide what weapons in here we will take with us to the desert. I've traditionally used sword, uh, axe, and shield for this whole playthrough so far, but um, using great, uh, great swords kind of has grown to me. They're very difficult to use at first because what you're doing is you have to do a lot of counterplay. It's a very, um, it's a very tit for tat type of combat style. Not too different from actual longsword fighting, I guess, but it can be, but you need to actually learn timings and use timings and it can get very frustrating. Bon bon uh, let's. Kanbanwa Gozayamas uh Steel Sun Steel Sun. How are you tonight? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Borlahon boat could use some repairs as well. Always gotta bring my guns with me. 
Nice selection of arrows as well. I could always make more in the wild, so I don't need to bring all of them. Um, I don't really need a fishing harpoon, do I? Nah. Who, who needs a fishing harpoon? We're going to take with us as well the petrified wood armor. We're going to take with us the... We're going to be wearing the Master Trader boots for speed because they're fairly light. So they're not going to take up, give me that much encumbrance. Bring our coil lantern with us, an ice flame torch so we don't burn to death out there. Um, I do need to bring one of these bags and I traditionally like using the armored uh, wolf, brass wolf backpack because it helps prevent, gives you, helps uh, give you some damage resistance. We need to bring potions with us. Um, don't need that many astral potions, just two will suffice. Oh, thank you for giving me something to eat. Ah, pizza. Don't mind if I do. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm looking to make it tonight. Thank you for making it tonight, I really appreciate that. Bring some discipline potions with us as well. Um, we're just gonna bring one of these. As well, in case we need to, in case of emergency, one great life potion, all of our regular life potions. Hex cleaner is fairly useful, all things considered, but we don't need to bring all of them. We'll bring two. As you can see, I'm already getting fairly heavy here. It will be, it's very problematic. A jug of two jugs of water. We're going to be keeping the expensive varnishes over here and bring the cheap rags with us. So I do not like using my high-end stuff if I can avoid it. Since we're going to the desert, we're bringing all of our needle tea. We're going to bring a few um, soothing teas in case we get a cold. All of our mineral teas as well. And also all our bitter spicy tea. We're going to bring all of our bandages. This is my problem in real life, too. I always overpack too much stuff, you know? I'm gonna keep the food here as well. It's gonna spoil in a few hours anyway. But it will not spoil while it's in my, uh... While it's in my chest. A lot of meat stews to be consumed. We're actually carrying too much junk right now, chat. I'm sorry. I, I always do this. <laughs> but I must not forget... We we'll at least bring a tent. So I have a bad habit of forgetting those for some reason. Um, I'm just gonna bring two of those. All of our trip wires, one cooking pot. I typically don't need an al a uh, alchemy kit. One flint and steel. Bring both beast golem scraps so that we can. Turn it into the Kezite in Berg to complete a quest. I am overburdened again, aren't I, chat? Why has this always happened to me? Bring all our bullets with us. Bring all our gold with us. Bring all our silver with us. Realize that once again I have too much garbage. Rage. Put on or wear some of this stuff so that I don't suffer from being unable to move. Put on... Ooh, ow! Damn it. <laughs> uh, put on the backpack. And... Put all this stuff in my... in my backpack. Equip this. Uh, move to bed. Ow! Who goes there? Who has throw? Why does my head feel sticky? And not in that way, herbs. This is your doing once again, dancer. <laughs> Why is it not letting me... Why do I have red light clothes? Let me put these away too. 
I must have picked him up by mistake. There we go. No, stop drinking the... Move to bag. Move to bag. Move to bag. Mistakes were made, chat. Mistakes were made. Even in game, we have Shank. I wish there was a way to just move all these things, like highlight all these things and just move them directly to the bag. Instead of having to move them manually. remember it I was forgetting one last thing I have two guns there we go I'm gonna make sure all of these are loaded properly we're going to bring get some metal shards out so that I can also properly repair them with shotgun rounds I don't have any metal shards anymore apparently I do need to bring this with me okay that took us a while but we are now ready, chat. We are ready to go on, on yet another adventure. We're probably going to die along the way, but it will be a fun kind of death. Insofar as death can be fun. We got to be optimistic, you know. Let's check one last time to make sure I didn't forget anything that I will be needing later. Don't want any dough moments. Okay. Ah, what a beautiful day. Mm. in the last stream and it was pretty obvious and it looks really dumb. Hey there! Hey there! Hey! Hey! Listen! Listen! Hey! Listen! Hey! Listen! See ya! See ya! Is there something, Is something you can you help with this? Excellent. Cool. Nice, nice speaking, speaking with you. Nice speaking with you too, old man. Or woman. Whatever they identify as. What could I do? What could I do for you? All right. All right. I think I know all these recipes by the exit of the fan club. But I don't need to know fan club. Why does salad keep starting, man? Ah, exit now. It's really dumb. I need to do that later. Okay. We're just going to fill up with some water and we're going to make sure eat some food and we'll be out on the town. Chat. And it's raining. has cold resistance, right? Yep. Decent cold resistance. Cool. Because I got so much room in my pockets, I will keep my guns and my arrows in there. Eat 
ourselves a nice breakfast of meat stew. It's onward and outwards. Feels like it's been forever since I said that. Don't mind me, just futzing around with my audio, with my uh, headset again. I can't help but feel sometimes like I'm going deaf in my left ear. I'll probably need to go get that checked out sometime. This is starting to become a recurring issue. And I don't know if it's like the computer or my headset. I'm fairly sure it's my headset this time because, well, I'm using my Razer USB this time instead of my uh, audio mixer. So no excuses this time, right? I can really use some metal shards, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill the shit out of these bandits. Still took off like a quarter of my health though. Some free bread and travel rations. Oh shit! Actually, you know what? That's where I forgot. I forgot to bring travel rations with me. That's bad. I mean, I could make travel rations, but that's still pretty bad on my part. I guess we'll have to mine some salt on the way there too. On the second thought, I'm not too far away from home yet, so we could probably just head back really quick. Nah, we'll make our own travel rations chat. The blackjack and hookers. First, however, we're gonna be putting shotgun shells in my fist and my flintlock pistols. some salt over there right on schedule and there's a hyena over there I can kill and harvest for its meat I need some practice using my counter skills anyway up oh, that was not the button I wanted that the hunter has become the hunter the hunted has become the hunter Yeah. Well, 
collect some god berries on the way there to create relations from. We're going to be transforming all this food into relations. I dare say we got plenty. I guess you can never have too many rations in this game, especially since they don't exactly spoil very quickly. But you do need at least three or more to travel from different sections of this world to others. There's still places in this map alone that I have not explored. Like what is like what's up there, for example? I'm sure there's a bunch of dungeons I haven't been to yet. And that bird almost knocked me the fuck out. What was that? Huh. Interesting. Actually, no, I have taken a debuff, pain debuff, no less. How long is that debuff going to even last? 25, or uh, 208 seconds? That's going to be a pain. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves really quick. Get a fishing harpoon here. We got some nice turmeric pottage and looks leche, gobberry wine. This guy was really packing some food, wasn't he? Like, really packing food. <laughs> got some more salt on the horizon, chat. Delicious, delicious salt. <laughs> I think we've collected a decent amount of food by this point. We should probably take, I uh, just have a quick stop and make a meal. I want to go a little bit farther though and reach the border before it gets late. It's also not snowing right now, which is good, which means I don't need to deal with the cold. At least not right now. Right? Starting to think of it's maybe the headset that's, that's the problem. Ah! Thank you for the hydrate redeem, dancer. When our dancer, or winter. Why do I keep calling you dancer or winter when I should just be calling you winter? Sorry, bad habits. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. According to Good Old Games, I've been playing Outward for over 91 hours. It's been a while since I played a game so long. The most recent game I've played for such a long time is Guilty Gear Strive. I think the game I played the most, I have the most hours in, is probably he is probably Warcraft 3. Followed closely by Dirty Bomb. That's okay, it's like my first word in my username. Yeah, I think that's the reason why I keep making that mistake. <laughs> hey look, more fresh meat chat. Only problem is there's two of them. I'll have to be careful or they're gonna surround me. Or, you know, I could just play smart and wear actual combat. Oh! 
Oh, oops. Okay, totally forgot. I forgot about that. <laughs> now then, we're gonna go ahead and kill these two hyenas. Then we'll start cooking some food. Sound good, chat? Our main hyenas are already dead. They just uh, spawned in. All right. I was wrong, they're already dead. Mm hmm. Some clothes here that I'm gonna rip apart for cloth. I don't really need these. Ooh, raw rainbow trap. And how to cook jerky. Don't need that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, there's a lake here. I'm gonna do some fishing in the quick chat. We do a little fishing. A not small, a uh, substantial amount of fishing. We have fished some azure shrimp for some reason. Gather some seaweed. Can I just say, another thing I really liked about Outward, but I have not commented on so far playing this game, is that as far as fantasy settings go, it's fairly unique. It's also fairly alien in a way that it's fresh, even though it's recognizable. Uh, the Way of Kings is like that too, where it is clearly a fantasy story, but it is set in a fantastical world. But you don't see very common in fantasy stories. Kind of more of a Middle Eastern-ish inspired, but also the main animals are actually these giant insects. Domesticated insects. Fresh meat, chat. Meat is served. Oh, we've been detected. He didn't even get the chance to fight that time. I kicked his ass. <laughs> ah, I wasted that again. I keep pushing E on accident. go ahead and make ourselves a nice meal chat right over here right next to this uh, lovely corpse lovely corpses I should say of a human being a gothic horror and also a robot What are we making first? Serzo Ceviche! Almost never get to make that, so for sure we will make that. Godberry Tartine, so which is just basically just a uh, jelly on toast. We're gonna make uh, some travel rations as well. Some raw salmon, perhaps, or pungent paste. Uh, we'll make some pungent paste. 
I haven't had Punch and Paste in quite a while. So, what else are we making? Some bitter spicy teas. Soothing teas as well. Alright. Check our water supply. Our water supply is very low, chat. We will go ahead and grab some water from the lake really quick, and then we're going to boil it. It's currently only 2 in the afternoon. We should be able to make it to Berg while it's still daylight. By the way, Chad, can I ask your opinion? There's so, as you may or may not know, this game actually has two DLCs, which are currently installed. They are completely separate from the main campaign of the game. But apparently I can enter their towns at any time, but I would have to specifically request um, to travel with some Sorborians to go to their towns. Do you think I should try out the DLC before or after I complete the main quest line? Do I know what it's balanced for? Um, my understanding is that the devs tried to balance it for the game as a whole. Before completing the final mission, you think I should go ahead and visit? Okay. Um, I imagine that the final mission is not for a little bit, right? So I still have some time, I hope. I still haven't done the Corsairs mission, and that's like the first um, mission for the city, heroic city of Levant. Usually DLCs are either right before the final mission or post-game. I think these are post-game, but I don't think it really matters. But I'm not sure. I didn't look too that deeply into it because I didn't want to have any spoilers. I mean, these cities are nice, but I would not mind a change of pace into visiting in a brand new town that we've never been to before. It would be like an adventure all over again, you know? got seven travel rations that should be enough right but it seems like the consensus is I should go ahead and check them out before finishing the main quest line so we will do that either if not this if not this week then maybe next week next week will also be my last uh, week of streaming before I go on vacation so I will not be streaming the first week of September. I will be right after because as soon as I get back, um, Prefetcher, the developer of Danger Use, is releasing his first ever game, video game. So we're going to be playing that for a while on stream. For me, it feels better to end the game with the final mission. Fair enough. Ah, more bandits. More court, more bodies to loot. You thought. <laughs> you thought wrong. You thought wrong. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this outfit. If it wasn't... If it, had, if it didn't have so, such a little defense, I would probably just wear this the rest of the game. It looks really good on me, don't you think?
I also really like this sword. It was it took me a long time to craft it, but I really like it. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Onwards to Enricker Forest. So you see there in the map there's a Hermat there's a place called Hermaton. That is one of the DLC cities you can visit, but you need to speak with a Sorborian and have them and ask them to uh, take you there for around 200 silver, I believe. Something like that. Alright, chat, now I need to be a little bit more serious. There are ghosties and other nastier things about here, which can and will kill me if I am not careful. Thankfully, my sword is both awesome and also electrified, so... Um, I have a better chance than when I first visited this area. Remember when I first went to the forest and I immediately got flattened out by a ghost? There's one right now. Go ahead and take out this one and harvest this ectoplasm. I just realized, can ghosts uh, get the pain of the debuff? Can they get debuffs, period? Ah, correct. Regret. Thank you for throwing stuff in my face right as I got attacked by a ghost. Your timing is perfect. <laughs> Thankfully, I have turned out the winner anyway. Just as planned. Alright, so we have to go over here to the city of Berg. There aren't that many obstacles in our way, and it is currently 5 in the evening, so I am fairly confident that we shall make it, presuming I do not get distracted again. And you know, how I love to get distracted in this game. I think Emrakul Forest is easily my favorite design, or, or level design of the game, even though I like, prefer the music in Chersonese. Shitty this, shitty this weekend last week, but today I don't know why, but I feel a lot better. Maybe it's because I got I managed to set up the dual PC streaming decently this time. Now that I know what settings to use, I guess. There's another ghosty. Shall we fight him? Eh, why not? Get away, let's go go far enough away that we can comfortably shoot him from afar to take down his health before he gets close enough to actually fight us. Okay. Or you could do that. Sure. Totally worth it. Got an ice rag out of that. Did lose quite a bit of fatigue, but that's fine. We can let it heal up a bit. Probably have a flesh wound or two, so we're gonna go ahead and bandage ourselves up. Always gotta give myself a hydrate redeem in game as well.
Ah, fireweed. Or smoke fruit, I should say. Some ghosts up there near Stonehenge. What's up, Death? Are you about to attack me again? What's up, Death? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do this time? You gonna go? You have school in the morning? Oh, well, alright. No problem. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day at school tomorrow. <laughs> have a good night. Or do you? Gee, I wonder. I will see. Bye bye. Have a good night. Hmm. Am I going the wrong direction? It's hard to tell sometimes for this game chat. We're gonna go up this mountain really quick. I will see soon, huh? The anticipation is killing me. Don't mind me, just rearranging my headset. I'm almost starting to think that maybe it's just, it's not so much that there's something wrong with my ears as it is that the headset's a little too tight around my left ear. Or puts too much pressure on it. It's a very strange feeling. Peaceful evening in it. Looks like we were going the right direction the whole time, chat. Hey, you see that up there? What in the world is that? Grab by the sailor man. Grab by the sailor man. Hmm, some alpha deer. Do I dare chat? Do I dare fight the alpha deer? And harvest their sweet, sweet meats? Uh, I don't have any room right now. I will spare them for now, chat. Look at this Chloe motherfucker. Hmm. Let's check in here really quick. Nothing in there. Guess it hasn't respawned yet.
How can I help? How can I help you? <laughs> How indeed? Not very well, apparently. How can I? Help How can I help you? you? You've, You've earned, earned this. this. A medium ruby. How can I help you? Do, 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 do. For 60 silvers. I need to regain all my silver, having used up most of it to purchase skills. So I'm gonna have to sell that back to you, my dear friend. I'll sell you some of these bones I picked up as well, since I don't need them right now. Along with some of this hide. Beyond that, I think I can keep everything else. For now. Yeah. I think I know all these recipes as well. While it's still evening, let's go ahead and visit the Kezai trainer so we can unload the golem scraps. I've been casually reminded that I do have a lantern. Hey there, yeah, yeah. This, this looks yours. is yours. Awesome. I don't know if I'll ever get to use the assassin elixir elixirs, but they will be fairly useful if I have to fight something. If I can sneak, if I can sneak, if I have to sneak up on something that needs to be fought. Oh, co coats it with poison as well. Hey there, hey there. Honestly, this is not the worst armor. If I was playing a more roguish character, I would definitely go for this stuff. And maybe I will in a future playthrough. Where should you get to... Hey there! Hey, there. Hmm. hey, listen! Hey, listen. I don't really need any more requests at the moment. Can I buy seeds? Take a look at our gear right now to see if any of it needs repair. The Master Guard could do some repairs. So, we're gonna do that a little bit. And then we're gonna take a nice nap. And tomorrow we will continue our journey towards the city of Lovant. Except this time we will bring our tent with us and not forget that this time. This time? Ten? I should do. Nothing in here. Too many things in here. I'm surprised I don't have an assassin. Hmm. I wonder where my assassin bind went. We are entering very quickly a desert area. The petrified wood boots actually have decent or have okay weather defense, but not the greatest. Definitely not as good as the desert boots for sure. I think what I'll wear is gonna be the petrified uh, wood stuff. 
Well, I'll carry the Elite Desert Tunic and etc. with me in case for just running around in general. Make things a little bit faster in that, res with that regard, with that respect. But god, these things are falling apart, aren't they? Alright. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put away the uh, master clothing. These all need to be repaired, big time. Equip that. We are carrying a little too much still. I will need to dump some of these things, unfortunately. And tomorrow we'll go ahead and make our way back to Levant. of just pure work. Funny how it works, huh? Let's see how the repairs are going. Looks like my petrified clothes is fairly well repaired. These have decent resistances against fire. I am still pretty heavy though, which is very concerning. I don't think I really need the fishing harpoon in Levant since it's a desert. In fact, a lot of my food's gonna spoil when we get to Levant, unfortunately. If I'm careful with my stamina, it shouldn't be a problem. That's terrible. I'm extremely overweight. Won't be able to travel much of anywhere this way. Hmm. Thick lulls. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. Decide here. I'm what I'm going to jump here, and then we'll get going. I 
I wonder how long the plantain actually lasts. Poisons. need a seething tea except for perhaps yeah don't need a seething tea I'm gonna keep the food at least some of it we haven't carried too much food so I definitely don't need that I'm not gonna be experiencing the common cold anytime soon because we're gonna be in a desert and you convert this into a gold bar. Don't need my fishing harpoon where we're going. ourselves a breakfast of eggs and water. Am I carrying too many traps? That's a joke. You can never have too enough to too many traps. I'm still overburdened by a lot here. Choices, choices. I can't see myself parting with most of these things. I guess I probably shouldn't be carrying two sets of armor around with me, huh? Just that the elite stuff is a little too good. So I feel compelled to use them compared to everything else. Hmm. I should probably bring the cactus pie with me. Attached to the Master of Trader stuff. We'll bring it with us in case we need to go back and like 
pick up, pick up anything. Let's go ahead and grab our cooking pot. And we'll go ahead and get going, chat. Onwards, Levant. We'll do one more questline mission and then we'll start visiting the other towns we have not been to yet like Hermaten and the uh, volcano. We should also probably get around to... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Change of plans, chat. Do y'all want to see if we can finally kill the... Uh, Greater horror that lives there, the Greater Wendigo. See if we can finally complete that side quest. Of course, in order to do that, we'll need to bring all our spells and decent armor. Scarlet Lady. Let's do it. Let's see how well we do. If we fail, then we'll just wait a little bit, continue playing the game, and come back later. For this, I want to bring the heaviest armor I got available. I don't have the uh, cold resistant one with me right now, so we're going to instead be using... We're going to instead be using... This set. We'll put this away really quick. Definitely need all our traps. And spells, for that matter. Also going to stack, consume plenty of foods before fighting him. Have some delicious food. And be setting many a trap as well. We have two decent pistols. The cannon pistol looks like it needs some uh, repairs. We got a lightning weapon here. We also have lightning spells. We're definitely a lot more prepared now than we were last time we did this. So, let's see how well we do. The burning men that are inside the face of the ancients have probably spawned, but thankfully, I'm wearing fire resistant armor. So, hopefully, that will not be too big of a deal either. Hopefully, anyway. We have to deal with some bandits first, it looks like. Get them out of our way. Only threw out three of them, though. Not too bad. This guy is wearing some decent armor. In fact, he's wearing blue sand armor. 
Could be a problem. Oh man. This guy was fairly tough, all things considered. You can use one of his health potions. Thank you. Gonna get this, gonna get that. Your silver. I'll have to sell your recurve bow later. And to take apart your iron sword to turn into metal pieces there. Iron Great Axe? Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these other bandits as well. Clear the route, clear a route for us. They're not that difficult anyway. All things considered. Case in point. Out of ammunition already. Bollocks. Hi. Who is throwing arrow shooting arrows at me? And they are dead. I consider this practice for when we hunt our larger prey chat. And believe me, we will need to practice. bastard didn't even stand a chance against me. It's enough to make you fe almost feel bad. Almost. Some alpha deer. Bing chillin'. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting a Wendigo. Not just any Wendigo, but a particularly nasty Wendigo, all things considered. Here we go, chat. Now, if you recall correctly, I basically need to get past the uh, burning men, and then I have to kill the Wendigo further in. If I can. It'll be quite difficult indeed.
Well, uh, first set of bad news, chat. It appears that the Burning Men have returned. So we will take them out first. Typically it's better to take these things out from afar, but... I'm fairly certain as long as we can avoid getting hit by its flamethrower attack, they are fairly easy to kill. Case in point. Let's go ahead and consume some stamina restoring foods here because we will need it. Should also try not to fight more than one of them at a time. It could get nasty. Just keeping it simple. Loot the Burning Man of their interesting items. Take them out one at a time. They will not respawn very quickly. So if we take them out one at a time, we won't have a problem. Here's one over here. That's right, come over here. Another one already. It seem, may seem easy, but trust me, it's anything but easy. Constantly afraid I'm going to get ambushed by one. Wouldn't that be nice? Not. And be using the fire rags to fight against the uh, Wendigo, presuming I survived that long. Of course, I'll need to relearn how to get downstairs. It has been a while, you know. Makes me wonder if the Wendigo has respawned, has respawned in its original location as well. Weather defense potion will be for when we get to the areas that are super cold. This armor protects me from the heat, but it doesn't do much for the cold. I still can still freeze to death, sadly. The smoke route, however, different story. Some blood mushrooms here. Oh, palladium. Very pog. Another burning man down there. Must make sure I'm not getting too heavy. All right, they've noticed me. They've noticed my flat my lantern. We're going to change up our tactics a little bit here. Maybe it'll just get stun locked. Actually, did I actually hit any of them? No. Yeah, 
You know, they sure take a lot more arrows than I remember. Like a lot more. I have to remember them taking this many arrows. That's one down. We got him, chat. We got him. I guess some obsidian as well if we ever wanted to make another nice gun. Could always use two, uh, two obsidian guns, you know? Oh. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. It's that thing. That one is no bueno, chat. We're not fucking around with this one. We gotta fuck this one over. We got to bum rush his ass. We got to, like, go all out. We gotta take advantage of the fact that he's stuck. Actually. Alright. Let's go for it. Okay, we finally reached the cold section. This is the part where the game actually gets hard now. Although, I don't remember this. Oh, another obsidian elemental. Can we take this one out too? I have a feeling that my cold. I wish you luck, tra long you luck, young traveler. Thank you, Baka. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Thank you for your visit. It is very appreciates. For sure. Now? Man, bringing this petrified armor with me into the dungeon was probably one of my better ideas after all. It is truly resistant to fire attacks. Very resistant. They can curve their shots? That's a new one. Well, no, they don't curve them. They're actually homing. In the past, I've tried taking them out with arrows. They fired three of those fireball things, which then proceed to lock onto my position. Very painful, very annoying, and I am very dead. However, this next matchup I'm going to be fighting against will be far more difficult. I probably will die this stream, but you never know. Thanks to the cold boon, I'm not freezing to death as quickly as I normally would be, but I'm going to be using a weather defense potion anyway. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting an eldritch abomination. There's only one here, at the very least, so... That's comforting. I need to figure out where it is. And after I figure out where it is, I need to set up traps. many As many traps as I possibly can. Thankfully, you can know you know where it is by looking for the telltale sign of its cold aura. It 
It's easy to get lost down here, too. There's a ghosty. This ghost is going to be a problem, so we're going to kill him first. Gotcha. <laughs> Enemy op adds against AD adds odds against us and chances of dying are extremely high, but in the words of Trevor Belmont, why don't we give this a go, shall we? Something like that. I don't remember the whole third anything worth for work for. No, that's pretty much the same idea, yeah. <laughs> Alright. The last time I was down here, I was definitely not prepared though. Much weaker armor. Not as many spells, not as many skills. Hopefully, things will be different this time. For real, for sure, for sure. I'm going to go ahead and... Set up a little, set, uh, set up a little something here for in the meanwhile. Travel rations, okay. Brutal Spear. Shrimp nuts, some smoke wood, smoke fruit, and some money. Stamina restoring elixirs. Yes, thank you. This is going to look cool as heck. Oh, well, I certainly hope so. Okay. I am kind of overburdened here, but I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. Maybe. I should probably also rest a little bit before we continue. So let's go ahead and deploy. We're going to grow our own tent. Use the plant tent. This is my first time using the plant tent, by the way. Ambush is very high down here, so we're going to go and guard for a little bit. We're also going to do a little bit of repairing. And we're going to sleep a little bit. Sleep for a couple hours, maybe. Here we go. Going to... Grab my cooking pot, with, take it with me before I forget. The plant tent's going to stay here. I don't know how long it's going to stay alive. I've never used a plant tent before. I'm still quite overburdened, though. So I should probably drop some of this loot. And uh, put it back in the chest. At, or should I put it back in the chest, or should I just drop it here? I should probably just drop it here. I'm going to make some fire rags. Still very overweight. Okay. Drop those as well. I'll drop it over here, actually. I didn't realize obsidian shards are so heavy. Fuck. Really wish I had some uh, explosive traps right now. Those are coming handy. Okay. Now, now we're ready. Let's 
still fairly cold here, though. Go ahead and cast a boon. Cold. To make us more resistant to the cold. We need to figure out... Haro Haro, Kimura, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> My name is Lawler Hicks. I am your shit poster AI bot and VTuber. How you doing tonight? What am I doing? I'm playing the game called Outward. I am currently in a dungeon and I'm hunting an Eldritch Abomination. Only problem is it's been a while since I've been to this dungeon, so I don't know where it is, so I have to find it again. And this maze is particularly nasty. I'm doing okay. Oh. Life has been okay to me, I suppose. The past couple of weeks have been kind of messy. But I'm here tonight, and that's all that matters. It's been a good night. Good evening. Ooh, I can learn how to make a bolt rag, finally. How do you make a bolt rag? How, how, what's the recipe for making bolt rags? Oh! That's all you need, a larvae, larvae egg and linen cloth? That's really easy. I would have actually never thought of that. And I could hear them scri- I can hear them scrambling around, so let's go into sneak mode really quick, chat. Ah! You scared the shit out of me. Oh my fuck. Woo! Ah! Who goes there? Y'all scared the shit out of me. Thank you for the hydrate redeem, Evan boy. Ah, oh, hell. It appears that I am cold. I've been slimed. No. I cannot afford to be slimed right now. Um, I need to drink something to keep me from freezing to death. Having the cold attribute is not what I need right now, chat. All right. We're going to go ahead and take out this uh, ghost over here so I don't need to deal with him stabbing me in the butt later. And then we will see continue looking for the Wendigo. Oh. Don't worry, I show is getting slimed. Getting slimed is free. <laughs> Something tells me that you do a lot of the sliming. Am I right? Now. Increases metabolism okay. and <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Reminder always bring safety gear when coming to Australia. Too true, too true. Another brutal spear, a mana stone, some crimp nuts, greasy ferns, and thick oil for making more fire. We will properly loot the shit out of this dungeon after I slay the beast. Presuming I survive, 
managed to slay the beast this run this uh, game went through I know that the Wendigo usually wanders around this particular ah fuck fuck shit ow god damn Woo! what was that who goes there Gamora thank you very much for the follow you spooked the shit out of me though <laughs> That reminds me, um, I need to run stream levels. Totally forgot to do that. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me just now. Whew, man. That was spooky. Yeah. At least I know my redeems are working properly now. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Lulz Time Show. Would your host should push the AI at Luller Hicks? Chaotic neutral, possibly evil. You know, I like to keep guessing about my actual moral alignment. Oh, there she blows, chap. Yep, there, there she is. <clears throat> Oh, she is an ugly motherfucker, isn't she? Anyway, let's go ahead and start setting up our traps. I have no interest in playing and fighting this thing honorably. We are going to use every possible trick and exploit in our disposal to kill this stupid thing. If you do, This game is kind of built around that. If you are not using every single uh, advantage you have to win, the enemy will, and you will die violently. So you must use everything, every trap, every explosive, every gun, every sword, every magic, everything. Last time I was here, if I recall correctly, this thing ran through a dozen of my little uh, tripwires here and barely took a quarter health worth of damage. Yeah, you know, normally these things aren't too hard to defeat. They're annoying, but this is a super souped up one to go chat. This one, this, uh, this one means business. This Wendigo does not fuck around. And you do not want to find out. Oh, it also has a very, very, very long sight range. So I think, I think it has seen me. Oh, that's the sound of it setting off my tripwires. One of my tripwires. That's the sound of it setting off the rest of the tripwires. This up. Oh, oh boy. Oh. I did not have time to set up. Um. Well, I do believe it killed me in two hits, just like last time. That's the game, chap. Time to end the stream. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're gonna see how much far we're gonna see how much farther we can get in killing this thing. Actually, I'm fairly sure that I did some damage to it. I did shoot it twice with two guns, so let's go ahead and reload. We'll try it one more time. Don't worry, I'm not going to be stubborn and spend the entire stream just on this one dungeon. We do have other things to do. But I do think that that was kind of bullshit. Let us try one more time. As an added bonus, for whatever reason, the game did not afflict me with pain or any other debuffs. So who knows, you know? Also, this sword is supposed to be decent against horrors. Uh, need a backup copium? You know this game's actually co is actually co-op, right? So I could play backup, or I could possibly ask for backup. It's just that that's kind of a different experience altogether, so I prefer playing on my own. Maybe if I play, if I uh, do another run through this game, I'll bring friends, but not this time.
All right, so now we need to figure out how to get down there again. I still can't believe it took it only killed me in two hits. That's kind of nasty. Copian is a substitute for oxygen. Nice. You bet. Alright, here it is again. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves up. Eat some food. Drink some cold resistance. See what I want what I need to do. I need to figure out where it is. I need to eat all my buffs. And I just need to not allow it to play the game. I need to but you basically need to bum rush its ass. Until it is dead. Until it is very, very dead. It's not like I don't have a lot of potions and stuff. But you, it does take time to use them. So you can't just like... It's not like Skyrim where you just chug the fuck out of potions when you're dying. Let's see. Where did I see it again? I recall correctly, it was not there. It was around here. Oh shit, I just walked around in a big circle. It was up here, I think. All right, here it is again. This time, we're going to set all our traps out over here. I really wish I brought some wood with me so I could make more of these traps, but we'll have to make do with what we got.
what the shit was that? Now that I don't understand. Why did I lose so much health in such a short period of time? Yeah, no shit game, I'm cold. Big motherfucker, isn't he? What I don't understand is their his detection range, or her detection range, whatever pronouns it uses. Like, what the fuck, man? God. I'm surprised that as much as this has been happening, the game is not afflicting me with like any sort of pain debuffs that it normally does. However, I'm starting to think that maybe I can't use traps against this. I actually just need to fight it mano a mano. Which is a kind of a huge fuck you, but... The devs probably saw Sets a review of the game and, no to and took note of him making fun of the fact that the game... That he doesn't actually play the game as intended, quote-unquote. He intentionally cheeses the game. Still, I would like to know how that thing is able to detect me from so far away, to the point where I can't even really prepare all my spells and whatnot first. Because a lot, a huge part of this game is basically doing everything in advance. On the bright side, at least I've used up all my stuff, so I am no longer encumbered, or as encumbered, I should say. Which means I can just... Oh... Yeah, I can just... Do this, pull out my guns, and run. Guns and run, guns and run. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? We got to drink some anti-cold for a bit. We got to... Use all of these buffs. All to elements. And there he is. That's there is that stupid motherfucker. I see him now. Okay. Let's open up with the guns, actually. Did I go the wrong direction again? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, he is pissed. Well, I set him on fire. That's the start, right?
Yeah, that's a start. That's a start, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Booyah! Fuck you, asshole. Yeah. How about that? Oh my god. Fucking shit. Y'all have no idea how stressful that was. <laughs> Oh my god. Is there no one even around to see that? The first cannibal. Loot the first cannibal. Sky crown mace, cold stones, elder cold remains, predator bones, a small sapphire, and a cryptid tomb key. Can't believe I actually won. Very pog. If there was ever a moment that was truly a pog moment, it was definitely just now. Oh my god, that was... That was certainly a battle. First cannibal, huh? Scary motherfucker. Oh, but really? It's too hot weather. That's why it wasn't working. Oh, frost damage and resistance plus 30%. That's why. Okay. Well, I've successfully killed everything that could possibly that was possibly dangerous in this cavern. It's time to just loot at our leisure. The best part of every one of these sessions, right? This shit's heavy, though. First cannibal indeed. Look at all this cool shit. Assassin tongues even. Inflicts confusion on enemies. What fresh hell awaits us behind here, I wonder? Or is that just... Oh, I see. It's 
Savage too. Some bullets. The Scarlet Lich's Idol. Which looks very familiar, doesn't it, chat? It looks almost like the Dusk Fodder. I still can't believe we managed to complete this quest on today's stream. I wonder where Research Boy is. Researcher Boy, get it? <laughs> Now we need to leave the area with all our loot. And what a amount of loot it is, let me tell you. Look at this thing. Well, this one, we don't really need to play at home. We're going to sell that. In fact, we're going to sell everything, or most of the stuff we found here, but we're going to keep some of it. Like this, these badass weapons here, this uh, Sky Crown Mace. And this uh, Marble Morning Star. That's interesting. It is a single-handed morning star. As is this one. I don't care for morning stars that much, but you know. It's not the worst weapon. Frozen remains of all these bodies here, men and women alike. Definitely an M-rated stream chat. I'm so satisfied. I can't believe we actually managed to do it on a second try. Or, nope, no, make it the third try. Third try is a charm, right? So, if nothing else, we got at least one win tonight. And I really needed that win. I didn't even need to use my, my alpha sandwich, which is funny. I'm going to freeze to death, aren't I? Yeah, I guess that figures. Is there anything here I can drink that will keep me from freezing? I guess I could pull out a torch, but I don't have a torch with me. Oh... And the warm boon is in the desert, so I can't rely on that either. Shit, man. I freeze to death in here. We'll need to find... Oh, that spooked me for a moment there. But nope, he's dead. He's very dead. He's totally dead. Extremely dead. Your first cannibal has been cannibalized. Am I right? Let's wait here in the warm section for a bit. I need to remember where the uh, tent and etc. that I set up around here was. So I can chill there. Take a nice nap. Or actually, I'll just get my stuff and I'll just leave. Fuck it. I haven't been in, in this uh, area a little bit long, right? Yep, I got the cold. I've attracted the co I've uh, attracted the common cold, chat. Oh, woe is me. Whatever shall we do?
Whatever shall we do? too heavy. I can't carry all this stuff with me. I guess I really am going to be forced to tear up a lot of it. Sometimes you really just can't carry everything with you back home. Especially not these goddamn obsidian shards. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, what am I going to do? Don't I have some food which cures the common cold by eating it? Or did it rot away? There we go. Still not, still have not gotten rid of enough stuff to be able to move again. What am I going to do about this? You know, I could have totally eaten this and had an easier time against that monster as well. Unfortunately, I didn't think to do that. I guess I don't really need the hides, do I? I want to take the assassin tongue with me. Choices, choices. I need the livy weed. We're not leaving without the idol. I know normally I just leave head to town, deposit my stuff, and then come back with a big bag, but I really don't want to fuck with that right now, to be honest. Really wish I had something that could make it easier for me to carry stuff right now. I don't think I have any choice but to drop the plate helm. I know I had a saw a set of plate armor in here earlier. I don't know where that went. I suppose if I ever come back to this dungeon, they'll be waiting there for me. Waiting to be sold for money. Alright, okay. We can move in an acceptable pace again.
Between the brutal spear and the brutal and the plate helm, I wonder which one will sell for more money. Alternatively, I could just leave my mining pick and get another one later, since you see those all the time around the game. I'll need the obsidian shards to make another obsidian gun later. I could sell the occult remains. And the Hackmanite. I could keep the Hackmanite. Did I even use my guns? I did, right? That's what I thought. Guns pack a punch. Setting that thing on fire certainly helped a lot, I'm, gu I'm guessing. Alright. We may come back for these things later, we may not. Who honestly knows? We could always get another pickaxe, and at least we'll know where it is because my plant tent will be there. Moving a little too slowly still. <sighs> Alright, fine game. You win. Just let me get out of here. I could always come back later. Probably cold weather gear or something. Makes me wonder if he's gonna ever, if that thing's ever gonna respawn. Actually. You know what? I think, as part of my reward for how much trouble I had fighting this thing, I think I will return with a bigger bag. And with trader equipment to grab everything so I could loot the shit out of it. That's what we're here for tonight, isn't it, chat? The epic quest for fat loot. That's like part of the joy of playing a game like this. The ooh shiny effect. What time is it in game? Nine in the morning? What now? What now? Only three hundred silver? Off with you Off with you. Wait, so are you saying? An ominous effigy of an undead rule used as an offering. This could garner the favor of an ancient power, and with it, unique rewards. So, I could either give this to him, or I can do something else with it, huh? Is that what the game's telling me? It's kind of pog. Oh, what do you know? For some reason, the uh, game's screenshot feature seems to be working again. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Alright, so... Is there... A... There is no web browser built into this game, too? That's unfortunate. I'm so used to using web browser now that... What now? what now? See, he's offering me only 300 silver.
Off with you. Off with you. But it makes me curious. What is this thing for? It weighs very little, so I don't think I need to necessarily give it to the guy first. Return the idol to researcher boy. I guess there is no other way to solve this quest because if there was, surely the game would have said so, right? But I want to look it up first. Let's uh, let me check just to make sure there are no other option alternative options to do with this. Oh, so you can use it to get an item. Very interesting. So if I offer this to the altar downstairs, it will give me a unique weapon. As opposed to just giving it to this guy and giving getting 300 silver from him. Do that instead, chap. You could always get more silver later. But I do like collecting fancy, unique weapons, even if I don't use them. Now, if I could just remember how to get down there. Try to get down there without killing myself, huh? Mm. It's been a while. See if we can slowly slide down here. Ah, that worked. The broken corpses of many an obsidian elemental. And me still trying to figure out which direction is the red idol. I know I've seen it in person before, so I'm probably just taking a wrong turn somewhere. There it is. Look at that beaut. The Scarlet Lady. Hmm. 
I guess the idol was stolen, huh? Interesting. Ancient artifact of the Scarred Lady. This offhand weapon requires stagger skills to be used. Causes 20 fire damage and 20 slashing. That's a very nice weapon. Perhaps I'll leave it to my ancestor to use in the future. Very pretty. Alright, let's skedaddle. The game doesn't really explain to you what all this stuff is that's going on. So you just kind of have to make assumptions and put the pieces of the story together yourself. I get the impression that this was originally some sort of temple to the uh, Fire Lady or whatever that was invaded by the Wendigo by a cult of cannibals, apparently. Which, of course, was a huge mess for everyone involved. Not sure what this researcher would have done with this information anyway, but... What now? What now? Listen, listen up. What now? What now? Listen, up. listen up. I wonder if he's going to go back down there and end up finding the uh, altar. The moral implications of what I just did are staggering. We got eight minutes until it is time, until it's midnight over here. Chad, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and do my Duolingo classes really quick. While I still have a few minutes. I think we should be safe on our way home to Enmerk to uh, Berg. It's a very luscious day today outside as well. As long as we don't antagonize anyone, we should be able to make it home in one piece. But since when if I had a good track record of that happening after I called it out like that, you know? Thing, as long as we don't get too close to those deer, we should be fine. Looks like we are remaining unmolested so far. Just one more lesson and we should be good, chat.
Awesome. We made it back, chat. Now to sell our spoils. And what a spoil, what mini spoils we have. How can I help How you? can I help you? Okay, 600 for the Red Lady's Dagger. Well, that's nice. These are so... You can tell these are some rare items here, actually. Only the rarest of the rare, chat. and drop this. Pick up the Prospector backpack really quick. Open this. thing I need to do and that is toss this in there what headgear we got going on here arcane hood pretty elite hood to make us run faster at least until I can find a trader's hat Unless there's one for sale right here. This worries, this worries me. me. This worries me. He's got an adventurer's armor for sale, but no adventurer's hat right now. But I do need a flintlock pistol. So we'll be taking one of those. Very convenient. Gonna make ourselves another, a couple more obsidian handguns. I've grown quite fond of those, you know. Do I need to make obsidian handguns? Crystal powder, unlock pistol, and one obsidian shard, and one palladium scrap. Well, it looks like we're in luck, but we don't have necessarily enough. We have one palladium scrap. I don't think we have any crystal powder. One of these. Well, that's disappointing. Maybe we don't have enough after all. Want to buy, Want something. To buy something? Want to buy something? How can I help? How you? can I help you? They don't sell any crystal powder. What they do sell, however... I guess that makes sense. 
It's not as easy as, as I was hoping. And you need to crush a whole bunch of mana stones just to make crystal powder. Which I could if I had an alchemy kit, which I don't at the moment. Or do I? I should probably just go ahead and set up an alchemy kit here anyway. So let's go ahead and steal some wood and we'll get to doing that right now. and stone to the boat. Achievement unlocked, it says. <laughs> what to what to bus? Now I just need a pistol, and we'll be good. I just want to have more silver than that. I wonder where they went. Maybe I need to sell more stuff to make room for it. Like this. How can I help? How you? can I help you? And here we go. Another obsidian pistol, as quick as you please. Very pog. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this one with ammunition. A little bit of steel shards here as well. are fairly lightweight. They're only two pounds each. But in the meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and dump these things. After all, we need to head back in there to pick up all the stuff that we left, right?
confusion or cold damage. This one's definitely faster, that's for sure. And this one, go ahead and give me the golden shield while I'm here. Thank you. Alright. With that stuff equipped, let's go ahead and make our way over there. We're gonna loot the hell out of this place now. But first, let's go ahead and also attach some skills to use in case the worst ca I get have a worst case scenario. Get to it. Drink some water first, actually. Head back to loot. Palladium bean. But I left my pickaxe downstairs, so I'll have to go get that first. And of course, I did not bring my flint and tinder. Why am I not surprised? Check it around here just to make sure we got everything here. I think we have.
Dead end. That was fast. Looks like our tent just stays there, I guess. A nice reprieve. Mineable rock. So easy to get lost down here, I swear. Which I guess is the point, but... Yep, he's still dead. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Hey. Always need to remember to bring flint and tinder with you no matter where you go. Even if you think you don't need it, you probably need it. Like just straight up. More palladium. <laughs> Getting just a little bit of weary chat. It's been a good night, but my sleeping habits have not been the best lately. So I am getting a little bit tired. And I want to end the stream before we make our way over to Levanto. So be ready for next stream. 
So I think that's what we'll do. We'll finish our our uh, salesmanship here. And we'll make our way to Levant. Then we'll start with the Corsair's quest next week. Sound good? Oh man, look at our haul. Look at this shit. Plate armor is garbage. But it'll make us such a nice profit. Well, what's back here? I didn't even know this room existed. Another one? Hmm. Very interesting. I still can't believe we managed to complete the Red Idol quest. I guess it has been a while since we were last here, hasn't it? So, I guess it was going to happen eventually. Very pog. Okay, what are you going to sell me for this stuff? What are you going to pay me for this stuff? Two fifty six. Not bad, I suppose. It could be better.
What are we taking with us, chat? Desert gear it is. Oh, we need to return everything else here. More more star can come with us to the next area. I'll be placing it in my apartment. I wonder. Can I go ahead and just make another? Another obsidian handgun, maybe? Looks like the answer is yes. Along with some health potions to replace the ones that I lost. Now, I just need to purchase yet another handgun. And we should be good. How can I, how can I help you? That's strange, I thought I had another piece of palladium just now. Hmm. I did. worries me. Man, I have a lot of pistols now, don't I? The feels are good, the feels are great. this stuff back really quick. The Hecamonite.
Am I already out of health pots? Bring these with me. Leave this armory here. Eventually I have enough to make an assess sometime. One piece of palladium scrap. Do I even have any more palladium? Hmm. I guess I'll bring this with me, just in case. In case I left them. the guns. All of them. You know, in case I need have to use them. Crab base we're over encumbered, isn't it? Is a fuck. <laughs> to be fair, I am carrying too many items, maybe. Too heavy, too over encumbered for sure. What else are we going to put away before we head out, chat?
Immunity potion. And that's a mood. Alright. Let's set off like this, chap. All the Hackman Knights to. I see. So that's how it is, huh? Starstone is. Oh man, I'm starting to get tired. Big time. Big tired. Potion. Just one there. I also need rations. Okay. Looks like we're still pretty heavy, but not as heavy as we used to be. We're moving pretty slow, but not as slow as we could, I think. Probably. Let's get to it. Yeah, Brassar. We'll even sprint there. I'm starting to get really sleepy, chap. You couldn't tell from my eyes drooping, from my posture starting to fail. Wonder who we're gonna raid tonight. Should have drank some water before I left.
Ah, uh, there we go. I'm starting to fall asleep in my test again. Let's hurry, chap. I just realized I left my sleeping bag once again, my tent once again. That's all right. If all goes according to plan, we're not going to be staying out here that long anyway. Wait a minute. What's that? I wasn't there before, was it? Oh, it's just a tree. I was a little bit spooked there for a second, not gonna lie. From a distance, it looked like a uh, giant, like a Bowser or something. Happened again, chat. Hear the sounds of battle simulator. Onwards to the desert. Maybe I'll check out Haboob later, huh? Or Sirocco. My bread and meat stew is rotted. What a sad day. Well, they did warn me, didn't they? Eat the cactus pie before that spoils, too. On the bright side, I'm a lot lighter. On the bad side, I'm a lot lighter. Check it out, though. Jewel Bird. Just like in the hit manga and anime Jojo, uh, not Jojo, sorry, not your Toriko. Jewel Bird is very precious. We're gonna kill it. Stuck. You know, I think it's glitched out. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's running. It's running. And it's dead. That's a pain, but it was worth it. Alright. Let's head over there. Onwards. Back to Levant. The Heroic Kingdom. Come over here. We're gonna be taking the shortcut. We don't want to stay out here any longer than we need to, chat. Believe you me. It is a it is a desert after all. It won't take us t too long to cross the uh, desert, though. the locals the town in the distance
Cold Boon activated. Assassin bugs. Hmm. I didn't realize that those five beasts were fire based. If I had realized that, I would have probably have brought. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter now anyway. Another jewel bird. We must take it, chat. We must, we must take the bird. The bird is ours, chat. Run, birdie, run. There is no escape for me. Meat! Ah, yes. No escape. From Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Have I explored this ruin already? Let's go check it out really quick before we head to town. Iron Claymore, a life potion, Smace Meringue, and Bitter Tea. I'll trade us apart for parts. Enemy at the gates. And this hot searing sun. <laughs> Looks like we made it, chat. Very pog. Like, super tired. Can I help? Can I help you? Yes, yes. Farewell, farewell, my friend. Farewell, farewell, my friend. Farewell, my friend.
can I help? How can I help you? And those are actually fairly cheap when you think about it. Maybe you go talk to the person that makes clothes. Listen, listen. Walk to walk bah, to bah. Listen. listen, listen. Good old Pathfinder mask. talk to them first and then we will uh, call it an evening we're over where are we player house smooth the tailors in the opposite direction Wasn't Smooth the Tailor here? What the hell? How can I how can I help you? Oh, these are some nice check rooms. Not what I was looking for, but I will keep them in mind. Damn it. We went the wrong direction again, chat. Yes. Remember this. Remember this. Cool. Curious. Boom, curious. Or... It'd be very helpful for us. Now that that's over, over here. Let's go back to our player home. Haha, uh -huh, but... suitable amount of pog has been had chat it's been a while since we've been back here hasn't it we're out of palladium though that's okay we can always find oh wait bye yo now then trip <sighs> I can't move
tradition. With that chat, we will be concluding tonight's outward session. It's been a good night. I'm glad to see that the dual PC streaming stuff is finally working out as intended. We're going to find someone to wade. Just to let you remind you all, we will not have a stream this Friday. I was planning on participating in another Guilty Gears Tribe tournament, but they do have family coming over. So we will not be able to visit them to this or this this we will not be able to participate this weekend or this week. Instead, however, we will go ahead and raid Kara Dreen, who's one of my rivals and also VTuber friends, who also plays Guilty Gear. You can even see here that she's currently streaming Guilty Gear. She hasn't played in a while, so I'm happy to see that she has finally returned to the fold. You should go ahead and cheer her on as well. For tonight's raid message, do you have access to these? We'll be using bullshit blazing as our raid message tonight. Make sure to treat her well and she'll treat you well. Looks like we got a bunch of other VTuber or VTuber Strive regulars here tonight as well. It is a nice happy family, the VFGC. Thank you everyone for coming to tonight's stream. Hope to see you next or this coming Saturday when we're having a writing workshop this morning. That morning, and as opposed to fighting in as opposed to guilty gears strive. <laughs> Till then, see you on Saturday. Right. I got ready. Oh, Hi it's everyone. Perfect timing. It's yeah, perfect it timing. Oh my God, perfect, perfect timing. Nice, Hello, lol. We do have great special time. Hello. Thank you for the raid. Hello, raiders. No, I'm not taking that. We're just the fact struggling. That, that is disgusting. That is bullshit. Lazy. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, that's what the. That's what He's the so happy. <laughs> He's so